everyone, my name is Lauren Eloise and a big welcome! Welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you're new, this is a tea video. If you don't know what that is, basically we sit down, we have a little tea and a talk. I share with you guys like diary entry style, what I've been doing in my life. I think it's a great way to like let you in and be real and open with what's been going on. The last tea video I did was in May, maybe? So it's been a little while. We are definitely overdue, but I've got some tea for you guys. So sit down, relax, make yourself a tea. Or if you don't drink tea, just hydrate. I don't know. <laughs> Before I begin the tea, just want to shout out to you guys who were on my live video over on Instagram. We did my makeup together. You helped me pick what I wore and we just had a good little chat there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure in the last tea video, I said that my girlfriend left me and I hate to say it again, but she has left me again. <laughs> She has gone to Sydney to work on a job at the moment. So currently we are long distancing. <laughs> but the way we're making that work is we're both like into Minecraft at the moment. I know I'm like 10 years late. Look, I had Minecraft when it first came to the iPod touch. When it first came on the computer as well, I was like 14. This is like probably 10 years ago, hey. I never played on survival mode. I just always played creative. So now I'm like learning everything. I'm just gonna walk backwards from like today to like back to May because that just makes sense in my brain. But anyway, so girl pal is not here at the moment. And just before that, I had my birthday. I turned 25 years old. <laughs> I know that I look 17. I get it all the time. It's fine. It's fine. Happy birthday, dear Lauren. Happy birthday to you. But basically, I had a really good day. I slept in, I relaxed in bed for a little bit. Girl pal was here as well, so I got to wake up with her on my birthday, which was so cute. <laughs> we ordered Thai for lunch just because why not? Like, we can't really do anything else because we're in lockdown right now. So I had a lockdown birthday. I can check that one off the bucket list. Oh my god. My mum made me a brownie as my birthday cake and we put icing on it. For the last few years, I've been requesting a brownie as my birthday cake because like, Brownies are superior, am I right? <laughs> Girl pal got me tickets to see My Chemical Romance in New Zealand next year. I know, what the hell? <laughs> That's, oh, you can't see, but underneath my tea is a New Zealand book. She also got me this cause she kind of gave me this first and then gave me the tickets. So I didn't really realize what was going on at the time. Actually, I do have a video. I'll insert a video of my reaction. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's why we might be going to New Zealand because that's where you're gonna see my chemical romance. What the fuck? Are you coming? Yeah. You and me. Oh, you're gonna get trash. <laughs> yeah, so that happened. If you guys are like part of the OG fam, you know that I was gonna see my chemical romance at Download Festival, but it got cancelled because of COVID, and then they announced their own tour next year in Australia. I saw that post that they were coming too late. It had sold out, so I like commented to my friends, I'm like, oh, I'm so sad, I missed out. <laughs> and Girl Pal apparently saw that, went behind my back, messaged my sister and was like, would Lauren be cool going to New Zealand for tickets, like to see MCR? So she bought that. <laughs> But, and she had that for months and I didn't know. So she's really good at keeping secrets. We had also talked about, which is really funny, we had mentioned like New Zealand is probably logistically the first place we'll go together. Like we'll be able to travel because Australia has deals with New Zealand and vice versa. I was thinking like, yeah, that's probably where we're gonna end up going. I have been to New Zealand before. I absolutely loved it. I would 10 out of 10. I am going again. So yeah, any New Zealanders hit me up in the comments. Let me know where I need to go. My sister also blew me away. She got me a PC for my birthday, like a gaming computer. I don't really understand specs and stuff because I don't play a lot of games. So I'll insert my specs if you're curious. I don't know what it means, but like have a little stalk. All I know is it's really pretty <laughs> and I can play games on there and my MacBook isn't lighting on fire anymore. Currently thinking about doing streams 
just for the sake of like playing some games because I want to play them but also sharing that with you guys because like why not? I need to know if there is enough people who would want that. Honestly I don't know if it's something that I should do on YouTube or do I like make a Twitch account? Do I make a second YouTube channel for it? I don't know. Playing games while you're there with me would be really fun. But yeah please do let me know if you want that because <laughs> I have no idea. I guess another thing I've been doing is I started to go to therapy again. I've only been once but I will go again in like three more weeks time and there's just some things in the past that I feel like I just need to talk about with someone who <laughs> knows what they're doing. I guess I'm just mentioning this because like that's what I'm doing and also I just want to like remind you guys that you don't have to be suffering from depression or anxiety or any mental illness necessarily to go and see a professional. Like you don't have to be super bad just to talk to someone about stuff. This is your sign if you want to go to therapy this is your sign to do it. Actually something I wanted to include in the video but I forgot to mention was these. You might remember in my last video I talked a lot about these. This is not sponsored but I just wanted to update you. I use these like 99.99% like of the time. I don't know how I lived my life without this previously honestly they are amazing and just wanted to remind you like if you want one I think it's a hundred percent worth it you can get $40 off now with my code Lauren. It is an affiliate link, but this is not sponsored. So I do get a little bit of dollars back from it. You just get yourself something good and you also help support my channel. So it is currently September, which means it's now been an entire year since I quit my job. I'm pretty sure I made a video about that, but I quit my job because there was things that I just felt like I needed to do and I couldn't do whilst I was working full time at the same time. One of them is YouTube, which I have been posting Woohoo! When I started working from home with my job, I stopped making YouTube videos just because I didn't have time to do it anymore. And that really bothered me because like I love this whole process. I love. I am currently already thinking about the 12 Gays of Christmas. So if there's something specific you want to see with that, I'm all ears. Let me know. I basically have been freelancing and doing YouTube as my two sources of income. Freelancing is like here and YouTube is like here. Like I don't really get a lot of money from YouTube at all. You could not live off this like there's just no way there's absolutely no way and like that's okay because I don't I don't ever want YouTube to be my only job like I'm a designer I I, I really love design so I still want to do that and I still want to do YouTube so you know just gotta find the balance anyway so I've been freelancing I did my tax recently and I realized the entire year that I've not had a had a job <laughs> I made like a part-time jobs worth of money which is crazy to me it's a lot of relief also you probably noticed that on my Instagram and I made a YouTube video about it but I celebrated wear it purple day again this year I was an ambassador for them if you don't know wear it purple is a non-for-profit volunteer led organization in Australia they hold a day where everyone wears purple to show support for youth. So this year I did five talks with big businesses in Sydney, which was terrifying. It was like 800 or so people that I talked to over a few days. Did a lot of presentations and I was a panel speaker on people's events and I talked about my experience. People talked about their experiences and it was really good. It was with a whole bunch of people who weren't necessarily gay and also a lot of adults in like the working age space as well so it was good to connect with that kind of audience. I really really enjoyed myself and I would absolutely love to do it again next year. I would love to do it in person to be honest that would just be so terrifying but so fun. I wish like I could have filmed the entire every single one and like shared that with all you guys because the amount of like feel good stuff I got out of that was just so I don't know the words but I I loved doing it it just reminds me of like why I do what I do uh an important one I got double stabbed I am fully stabbed I didn't really have much side effects honestly the second one that I got I woke up at 3 a.m and I'm pretty sure I had a temperature but I went back to bed and yeah I was fine I now have access to 5g I actually finally put together the vlog that I made when I went to the Easter show in Sydney. I went there just for rats. I love rats so much, so it just makes sense that I just went for that. But I vlogged the entire thing and that video that I made took me <laughs> like two weeks to edit. And I'm mentioning it to you guys because it is the most favorite video I have ever made, full stop. I absolutely found it very, very challenging, like as an 
editor to make. I love the way that I broke it down into little, like little scenes and I had to work with what I had to make a story into it. And it was just, it was hard. And then I loved the way that it turned out. So yeah, I just wanted to share that little proud <laughs> moment with you guys. This is gonna sound really dumb, but I've been watching some sad movies, all right? I have trouble watching sad movies because I don't cry because I don't allow myself to. So I've been watching a few sad ones with Girl Pal. We watched Titanic. I didn't cry, but uh, she cried. And we watched Spirit, the horse one, and I bawled my eyes out. And something else we've been watching as well, we watched Feel Good, which is on Netflix. It's on Netflix Australia for my Australian fam. Feel Good is about two gay girls. Actually, one of them later in the series comes out as like non-binary. I really enjoyed that and it was funny and it was also serious. I will put like a warning for addiction. She struggles with addiction in it and I found it overwhelming is the word. So I had to like stop watching, like I could watch like two episodes and I just had to pause a bit. So just a warning. <laughs> I guess that we're also due for an update on my van. I bought a van almost a year ago now and it is completely done. <laughs> I am really proud and happy to say that. Shout out to my dad because he did like 90% of the work on the van. I did all of the planning and all of the spending. <laughs> Think in my notes, the things that we did since the last video, we painted the entire insides. I put more sound deadener in the cab area so that it's not as noisy when you drive it. It wasn't really noisy, but I had leftovers, so I just wanted to use it. And I also got some solar screens, which is like insulation stuff that goes over the windows. So when you sleep at night, it like keeps all the warmth, all the cool in, just gives you that bit of privacy. Now I'm getting back, all the way back to before we were in lockdown. I went to my first ever musical, okay? <laughs> I'm not sure if I like musicals or not. I, I don't know. I'm open to trying it. Girl Pal is really into them. So we went and saw Hamilton. I got most of the story, but there's a lot of like American history stuff that I don't really understand. A lot of it did go over my head, but <laughs> if I'm just looking at like the performance and like the set and all of that, it was really cool. It was a cool experience and I'm glad that I went. And also I started playing outdoor netball again which is the really competitive one that I've played my entire life. I absolutely love the game but the second game in I rolled my ankle. I did an oops. I landed on someone's foot. I rolled it so it caved in and it stretched all my ligaments. I didn't tear anything thank god but yeah I'm okay. I healed it. It's all good. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to me that you're invested in my life. You care. You want to know what's up. Like that is crazy to me. It has now been five years in total on YouTube. So thank you for being here. By the way, I actually reacted to my first ever YouTube video. Maybe you want to go and watch that one after this one. You have permission to laugh at how cringy it is. But until the next video, I hope you guys are safe and cheers. <laughs>